Hi, and welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. I'm your host, Matt, and in this video, we're gonna overclock the new Skylake 6th Gen Core i7-6700K processor. I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail about the processor itself or Skylake, as we covered all this background information in the original video on Benchmark. The two processors that Intel lead in their Skylake release with are the i7-6700K and the i5-6600K. This is the normal strategy for Intel, as these enthusiast processors tend to generate the most hype. We demonstrated in the original 6700K and 6600K videos that the standard clock performance of these two new Skylake processors was nothing to get excited about. Intel's media release kit said there would only be up to about a 10% performance increase, and they were right. Oftentimes it was actually much less. This is pretty disappointing news for a lot of people that were very excited about Skylake as the rumor mill had been working overtime and leaked information out there was suggesting performance increases of up to 40%. Now we mentioned in our original video that our unit was an overclocking beast. Let's go and put it to the test and find out. First, we switched to advanced mode in the BIOS and moved to the OC tweaker menu where we selected load optimized CPU OC setting and grabbed Turbo 4.8 GHz from the list. Next, we checked out the CPU configuration settings, and you note that all that's been changed is the CPU ratio to 48 and the cache ratio to 40. Next, we moved to the DRAM configuration and made sure that XMP 2.0 Profile 1 was loaded before saving and exiting the BIOS. The system now restarts, successfully loads Windows 10 in a few seconds, and once in Windows 10, we brought up a magnified version of CPU Z. As you can see, the processor is holding steady at 4.8 GHz and the DDR4 memory is clocked at 3000 MHz. Now let's move on to run a quick Cinebench multi-threaded test. Please note the score reported here might be slightly different to the score reported in my graph so I take the average from three runs, not just a single run. And that's it, let's move on to the proper benchmark results. First up, we retested with Cinebench's multi-threaded test. Originally, the 6700K managed 882 CB marks, right on par with its Haswell counterpart, the 4790K. Overclocked to 4.8 GHz, we were able to milk 19.6% more out of the system for a score of 1,055 CB marks. Next, we ran Cinebench's single-threaded test, where the overclocked 6700K was again impressive. At 4.8 GHz, it scored 17% better than its original clock speed and 21% better than the 4790K. The next test was a benchmark we've only recently started using, Web Export. Originally, the 6700K was slightly behind the 4790K, but our overclocked config managed a 16.8% improvement for 438 web export points. Much better. The 7-zip results are also a lot better, as expected. Where the 6700K was originally 8.3% behind the 4790K, it was now 11% faster and it managed a full 20% higher total MIPS in its overclocked state. In our Microsoft Excel Monte Carlo workload test, we also saw a significant improvement was able to get the job done in 2.7 seconds, which was nearly 23% faster this time. The Photoshop custom workload benchmark also produced much better results. This time it was faster than both the 5775C and the 4790K, and it was 6.8 seconds faster than its original score, an 18.5% improvement. Finally, we assessed performance with the handbrake conversion test, where the original 6700K already led in its class. It was able to average more than 10 frames per second higher, which made for just shy of an 18% performance increase. I admit this was very much a lazy overclock, but forgive me, time was not on my side. It does prove a few things though. Firstly, that it's very easy to overclock the Core i7-6700K on a Z170 motherboard such as the ASRock Z170 Gaming K6. Secondly, 6700K overclocking is very promising as we managed to increase the clock speed by 20% over the base clock and 14% over the maximum turbo frequency. This led to some pretty significant performance gains, often in the vicinity of 20%. The overclock was achieved using the Noctua NHD15, which is widely regarded as the best air cooler on the market. Temperatures hovered in the high 80s when benchmarking, and again at no point did we encounter any stability issues. The Core i7-6700K certainly seems to be a much better overclocker than the 4790K, which maxed out at around 4.6GHz. 
Thanks for watching this overclocking video. This has been Matt for Hardware Unboxed. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.